I had a learning opportunity when it came to GFCIS today that I thought was important enough that I went ahead and hit the record button so I could share it with you. I'm at the PLC lab and we're adding GFCIS to each one of our stations. Now our stations consist of a PLC and a PowerFlex 525 drive. Now, if you get looking out on the internet, there's a lot of people out there that say that you cannot use a GFCI with an AC drive. I could not find a single manufacturer that says that you can't. And since we just added them to eight of our trainer stations, and this one was the only one that didn't work, I knew something had to be wrong. When I got looking on the internet, a lot of people were saying that the simulated sine wave coming out of them and inductance and all of these things were the reason you couldn't do it. Now that could be an issue, especially on older ones. But when I got looking closer at incoming power, I noticed when we went to wire to the VFD, we swapped the neutral and the ground. Without the GFCI, this drive works fine. I hit the green button, it starts, stops, but when I put the GFCI in, it trips immediately every time. I already have a video on how GFCIs work and I'll link it at the end of this video, but it monitors the current difference between L1 and neutral. And what I ended up doing was I connected L1 and ground. And here's where the myth that ground and neutral are the same thing can get really dangerous because what's happening without the GFCI in is we're taking power in L1 to the VFD. It's coming out and it's actually, the neutral is energizing this metal frame right here. And so the reason the GFCI was tripping was to protect you from getting shocked when you touch the metal frame and say touch this aluminum extrusion back here. Here's the 120 volt power coming from our wall outlets. And right now the GFCI bypassed. Here is the power to the trainer. Here's our GFCI. I'm gonna plug the GFCI in and we have a green light, which means it's good. Now I'm gonna unplug the trainer and I'm gonna plug it through the GFCI. And the moment I do, it trips. So now I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna take the white neutral wire off of my ground block and take the green wire off of my neutral block and swap those. Now, if we reset our GFCI, our PowerFlex powers up fine. We hit our green button. Our motor runs fine on the GFCI. Click here for a playlist about how GFCIs work and how three-phase motors rotate.